Good morning, Floss Tube. I'm back. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Today is January 2nd, 2020, and this is my Floss Tube channel. It's all about cross stitching, and I'm throwing them some knitting, finally, and some book reading this year, so yay! Um, but mostly cross stitch. It's it's a cross stitch channel. So um, let's see what else. Um, I had the family. My husband started his vacation the same day I started mine, the Thursday before Christmas. So he was off, and then my grandkids were out of school that starting that Thursday, and they're still out of school. So I didn't have a quiet moment to do a floss tube. So that is why I'm doing it now. The husband is back at work. The daughter took the granddaughter to work with her and the grandson is asleep upstairs and I told him to stay upstairs while I do this. So everything should be cool now, quiet and cool. But I have a lot to show you. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is um, shouting out some new floss tubers I've seen, some new to me ones. Um, this year's finishes that I had did um i have one finish this year i finished it last night if you follow me on instagram which is devon fl um you'll see that i finished it um i'm going to show you my active whips that i am currently working on and then the whips from archives that i want to bring out this year and work on them if not finish some of them and then my new starts and let's see what else. Then I'll go show you my knitting and then um, the books I'm reading. So let's get started. I hope you're all well, grab a cup of tea. Um, this is the third day I have been without coffee. I quit drinking coffee, I drink tea, but I have stomach issues and I'm thinking that might contribute to my stomach issues in the so I'm cutting coffee out and seeing if it helps my stomach problem. So keep fingers crossed, even though I do miss coffee a lot. But I do have my tea and I do love tea. So I hope you're all well. Let's get started. So first up is new floss tubers to me. And let me get my glasses as I can't see. The first one is Mandy Parker. And that's what her floss tube is by Mandy Parker. Go check her out. She's a really sweet girl and has beautiful projects. The next one is called Frog Cottage and that's Deb Ramsey and she has awesome projects too and um, she's a real sweet lady. And then to me, new to me, is um, a Netherland stitcher and I'm hoping I don't butcher her name. It's Jantina, it's J-A-N-T-I-N-A, -N -N Jantina Stitches. And she she does really neat projects too, and she's a sweet girl. And then Olivia B, I just found her um, through um, Brenda Stitcher, Sampler Stitcher and the Serial Starter. Brenda and Laura, they mentioned the, her on their podcast, so I went and checked her out, and she... Her latest one, she has two friends on, and um, they don't do podcasts, but they have awesome projects, and um, right up my alley. So go check Olivia B. out. So those are the new floss tubes I recommend this week. And by the way, this is floss tube number seven. It's been almost a month since my last one. I did my last one on December 6th, so... Happy 2020, people. Let's make it a good year in stitching. So um, this year, I'm going to start off with this year's finishes. I have most of them. I'm showing 21, but it might be higher than that. So, and these are in no particular order. I have a big table full of stuff, so I just put it on the table. So, the and I don't have the patterns with these. If I know them, I'll say them. This is Bird's Eye View by Kathy Barrick. We did a stitch along in our EGA last year, Kathy Barrick stitch along, and this was the pattern I picked. And I love this one. 
So that's one. And then this is Prairie Schooler Spring Sampler, I think, too. And I did this in the beginning of the year, and I love this one. And um, let's see. Bird's Eye View was stitched on a 36-count fabric with DMC colors. This was stitched on 28-count Monaco Tea Dyed by Me with DMC colors, with the recommended colors. Okay. Prairie Schooler Sunflower Santa. 28 count Monaco, DMC colors, finished by me. This is, uh, I think it's White Christmas Ornaments by Kathy, Hands on Design. And I changed the colors on this and I finished it. And I want to finish the rest of them this year. These are Lizzie Kate's. I think they're winter smalls. Love these guys. Quick stitch and fun finish. I did the finishing on this, and this is done on 28 count. I think it's tea dyed Monaco that you buy tea dyed already. And then here's another one Lizzie Kate. Love sheep. And this is the same fabric as the other one, 28 count tea dyed. And then here is, I forget who makes, Autumn Bird. I think it's hands-on design, I'm not sure. Finished by me. And this is the same fabric as the ornaments. And then this is February, Prairie Schooler. And I have this, a magnet on this, I put in a tobacco basket on the wall. And I just remembered I have another one I didn't grab. Oh, I did April, too. And this is Plum Street Sampler. Hello, Autumn. And I've done Hello, Winter. And I plan on doing Hello, Summer and Spring this year. And then this is Blackbird Design Trick or Treats. And I love this one. Finished by me, stitched by me. I think I use the recommended colors. And it's stitched on a, looks like a 28 count, yeah. 28 count tea dyed Monaco. And then these are not finished. I think this is a Lizzie Kate. Home is the, home is the nicest word. 28 count Monaco tea dyed. These are Lizzie Kate Autumn Smalls. I'm going to make this into a pillow with sawdust. And then Winter Small. Blackbird Design. Something Tidings, I think. Dyed Fabric by me. Long May She Wave. I don't remember the designer on this one. I think this is Country Cottage. Red, White, and Bloom. And then this is July Prairie Schooler. I'm going to get this frame for my husband. His birthday's in July, and he's a big patriotic fan, so I'm going to get it framed for him to hang in his office. And this is Plum Street. No, not Plum Street. With Thy Need on Thread, Brenda Gervais. Sorry for the wrinkle. I need to do finishings. And then hands-on design for those two and for that one. Yeah, I didn't get to finishing this year too much. 
And then this one I still have to Priscilla 5. And that is a Lizzie Kate, I think. So those are most of my finishes for this year. Um, not a lot of big ones, but still a finish is a finish. So I'm happy with that. Um, let's see, what is next? Okay, let me show you my finishes right now that I just did. Oh, and you know what? I have another one in here. That I just remembered. This I finished last year too. Preschooler Santa. And then I just finished this guy last night. Tried to get them done before the new year, but didn't happen. So that is my first finish for this year. And then, um, let me go into my active whips. Um, and I'll start with this one because I finished a block on this one. I have one more block to do, which I'll do this month. And then I will be done with this guy. And then I'll start on the Six Bells Snowman. But this is Six Fat Snowman by Lizzie Kate. And I finished this block here on it. So I have that big long one left to do. And I am really enjoying this. This is a neat, neat pattern. And I can't wait to do the girls. I can't find my patterns, my Snowbell one, so... I think I have to order another set. I found one, but that was it. So um, I finished the last block, I think on December 31st, because it's December. I've been doing a block a month. And so I started in August and I'll end in January. So um, I finished December's block, December 31st. So, so that is an active whip. And then my next, my favorite. I can't put this one down. I'm loving this one. This is Kathy Barrick Reindeer Games. That's what the pattern looks like. And I highly recommend stitching this pattern. It is so cute and it's a small one. And I just, I love it. And this is stitched on 36 count Winter Moon Edinburgh Linen with DMC colors. But look at that. Is that not cute? I love those houses. I have the bottom of the tray to do and then the rest of the top, but... Yeah, this is a fun one. I love this one. So that's active whip number two. And then this is active whip number three. It's Prairie Schooler December. This is where I am on this. So hoping to get that done this month too. So, so those are my three active whips right now. Well, my three old active whips. And now my new starts, which I'm loving too. Let's see, are these, no, those aren't them. The first up is L.W. Moffat Sampler, 1821. And I bought this as soon as I saw it. I love the colors in it. And Brenda from Sampler Stitcher just finished it. 
So that's what the pattern looks like. And this is what I'm stitching it on. And the fabric is 36 count platinum Edinburgh. That's what I got done yesterday. And I'm using the called four collars. Can you see that? I don't have anything to put behind it. Let's try this. There we go. So I got almost three quarters of the border done. So not a lot to show, but it's uh, it's some. So that's my number one new new day, new year start. And my number two one, whoops, sorry, is Brenda Gervais Wordplay. And let me find the right one. This is stitched on 36 count vintage coat country mocha fabric. And I'm doing January. And this is how far I got yesterday. Just the word Coco. So that's number two new start for the year. And number three, and this is in one of my favorite bags. This is Mickey and Minnie. And I got the little pull from Disney. And I made this and I sell sell these bags, not this one, but I can make this one in my Etsy store. And this is a old one I made a long time ago. It's a Mary Inglebright one. And this is an envelope style one. So, and then the third new start I'll have is the, um, excuse me is the stitch alone I'm doing with modern day, let's see, modern folk embroidery. And this is a 12 part series all year long. And that's what it'll look like when it's done. And I am doing mine on, Thirty-six count vintage country mocha. I'm doing it on that fabric, and then the thread I'm using is Sulky, and this is color number. I'm thinking one sixty-nine, and this will be what it'll look like burgundy red so I am hoping to start that today so we will see if I do or not so those are my three new starts um, now I'm gonna show you some old whips that I am bringing out of archives that I haven't touched all year and that I'm thinking they were from mania two years ago well be two years I think I did mania in 18 or did I do it? What, 18 or 17? And I haven't touched these guys since then. And I really want to get back to... Well, one of them I have. I started this year. But the other ones, I haven't. Let's see. No. Where are you? Is this you? Yeah, here they are. Okay, I did work on this this year. So this is, and I definitely am going to work on this. And this is one I hope to finish. Sorry for the crinkling. This is Mary Jane Smallman, 1836 by Brenda Gervais. And I love this one. I don't know why I haven't stitched on it more. And this is where I am at. 
in, I don't know what fabric this is, I'm stitching it on. But that, it's a biggie. Well, medium size, I would say, but that's how much I have done. Is that right? Yeah. So that's a whip, old whip I wanna work on this year, that I'm going to work on this year. one was a mania starter and I barely have anything done but I have always loved this pattern a red cottage by Plum Street sampler samplers and this is the little little itty bitty start I have so I will get that that's 36 count fabric I don't know which one so I will get working on that this year too. And I'm hoping to finish that one. And then this one I'm hoping to finish too. This is American Farmhouse by The Scarlet House. And I have to, I think I stopped because I have to rip out one of these lines because I didn't stitch over enough as you can you'll be able to tell but that's all I have done of that one and I think this is stitched on 36 count raw so those are my no I have one more one more the biggie the big lady and I know I'm not gonna get her done this year but I sure am going to put some hurting on her and it is Elizabeth Weston I'm in a stitch along with a couple other ladies here and they are way farther than I am and I need to get my button gear on her but she is a gorgeous gorgeous big girl and this is stitched on 36 count fabric I dyed myself. Hold on, let's see. And this is all I have done of her. That little bit. So yes, I need to get my button gear on her. But this is how, I mean, this is how big the fabric is. So, I think it's a yard. It's a biggie. But yeah, I dyed this myself. It has browns and pinks and creams in it. So, I think it'll look good on her. She'll look good on it. So, those are my three old whips, or older, that I want to do some major damage on this year. Um, up next, these are starts I want to start that I've had kitted up, or some, two of them are kitted up, but some of them are just, I haven't kitted them up yet, but I would like to start these this year. I know I have a lot on my plate already, but so what? What's another start? This one is Liberty House by Brenda Gervais. Let me. Yes. That one I would like to start or at least stitch. Red House. Bird. This one is Abby Rose Designs. Glad Hearts. Some of these are new to me too. I got recently this past month. Scarlet House, Hannah's Brownstone. La Dee Da, Humble and Kind. Love that saying. Stacy Nash Primitives, House on Pumpkin Hill Pinkeep.
Miss Lucy Colcutt, 1825. She's a pretty one. I might start that one in February. Love that one. And Elizabeth Boardman, 1836. I love that house and that flower. The Prairie Schooler, um, when witches go riding. Can't leave out Prairie Schooler, can we? And then these I have, let's see, I have two, two I have kitted up. This is Plum Street Samplers, Penny Autumn. And Blackbird Design. It's Spring Fever. And this one, I love the colors. I dyed, I believe this is 40 Kemp fabric for um, Edinburgh. That was it. But that's a, that's a fabric. And then these, oh, these colors. Those colors so pretty blues and browns and usually I'm not a blue person but these just struck me so pretty so I will be starting that one too this year so those are my whips my new starts my starts I want to start my old whips um, I think that is everything up until, let's see, back to the notes. Um, yep, that's all the stitching stuff. Now I'm going to show you knitting, which is just a pair of socks. Um, so let's get to that. I picked up my knitting again, and this is one sock that's done. This is um, Knit Picks Felici Sock Yarn in their Chelsea Collarway. I do, I do Toe Up, and I do a Fish Lips Kiss Hill. And this is just a standard stock in it stitch sock. And then I started the second one and I'm up to the hill. I do these on magic loop method. So there's the second one half done. I'll start on the hill now. Um, I do the magic loop. I cast on, I believe 12, 10 or 12 stitches and then I go up to 60. So I'm enjoying my knitting again. I haven't picked it up for since August, I think, was the last time I knitted. So I'm really enjoying that. And then another exciting thing is I'm reading again. I, ha I did not read one book last year, not one. I, I can't believe that. I usually read a couple at least, but this year... I am misreading, so I am going heads on. Um, I'm reading my one book book. I'm reading, which I'm really enjoying. I started this yesterday. And this is the Little Paris Bookshop. And I'm really enjoying this one. I'm not that far in. I'm two page 29, so, but so far so good. I like it. And then I'm also listening to books. I've listened to books, but I've, I don't think I've ever finished an audio book before. And I am determined to read a book and finish a book on audio. And I'm hoping my goal set this year to read 24 books, 25 books. So that's two books a month plus one. So between the audio and the regular books, I sh I'm hoping I my momentum keeps going and I'll fit, I'll do that meet that goal. 
So the audio book I'm reading, listening to, is let's see. It is called A Single Thread and it's by Tracy Chavalier. And I have it on Audible. And so far, I really like it. It takes place in Winchester, England. I think it's Winchester, England. It's not Westminster. Maybe it's Westminster. Westminster, England. And it's a, about a girl who moves there. Her father had died. She lost a brother in the war. It takes place in the 1930s, 40s, around that time. Right after World War I. Um, and she lived with her mom, and her mom was very powering, very negative, so she had to move away, and she moved 12 miles away. And so she works at a insurance company, but she goes into the cathedral, and she sees a bunch of ladies, and she's curious, and one of them comes up and talks to her, says they are the embroiderers of the... I think it's Westminster Abbey Cathedral where they make the embroidery, the kneeling pads and the cushions and stuff. And so um, it strikes up her curiosity and she eventually joins the, the group and stuff. And they talk about all the different stitches, the wool thread, the cross stitches, the long arm. So it is right up my alley. So we will see. It had pretty good reviews, so... We'll see what it's like. So far, I like it. And I like listening to the book while I stitch. So thank you all for who recommended audiobooks and stuff. But um, so that is it for me. Um, I have to do some running around today. I have to go get my granddaughter from my daughter's work and um, hang out and stuff like that. And I'll probably take her out to lunch. So, but I hope you all have a awesome day. I hope you get some stitching done. I hope you got a lot of goodies for Christmas and stuff. I had a very good Christmas. Um, I worked New Year's Day, which was yesterday. I worked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I worked New Year's Eve till seven and then all day New Year's Day, which isn't bad. We don't do anything for New Year's Day anyway. So, or New Year's Eve. Um, so... Might as well work and make money so I can buy stitchy stuff. So other than that, nothing else is going on. Nothing's coming up. That's important. So I will leave you here now, and I hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye.